today's video i'm going to teach you how to use the sony a7 III as a webcam or stream cam using obs all for free and if you're new here my name is Matt rodriguez i'm a content creator and consultant i make content for small businesses and entrepreneurs and i also share my experiences to hopefully help other filmmakers and content creators and if you're into all that as well as tech and travel vlogs please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos okay first things first you're gonna need obviously your a7 III. Second thing you need is a micro USB cable. Now these cables are located in most electronic products today. Uh, I pulled one from my Xbox remote because I couldn't find the original, but your a7 III should have come with a micro USB cable. And lastly, you're gonna need to download OBS and the Sony Image Edge app. I will link them in the description below so you don't have to scramble around and Google. Go ahead, download them. And when you're ready, we'll go on to the next part. However, before we connect to the PC, let's make sure that your camera has the proper settings. To do this, go into your menu and scroll over to the toolbox icon. Then scroll to page four. Select USB connection and make sure that it's set to PC remote. Now you're gonna connect your camera to your computer via the micro USB cable. I have mine sitting on a Gorillapod right on my desk. So now I got the camera set up, it's connected to the computer, you got the apps downloaded, let's jump right in. So now we're jumping onto the PC. You're gonna fire up the Image Edge app. You're gonna see your camera listed here. You're simply gonna double click that. You're gonna get a nice connecting dialogue. Just wait a second while it connects. So you can basically control everything from here. So quickly, I'll go and adjust my aperture setting. So it's a little dark. So we're gonna brighten that up. And also, of course, it's out of focus. So we're gonna hit the AF, whoa, bam, right there. So now you have a decent, right now I'm running a 50 millimeter on this, so ignore that. It's not the ideal for this uh, setup. However, it's actually not bad. It wouldn't be bad for playing. Uh, I see a lot of people playing with this kind of close up shot. Now we have the camera dialed in, as you can see. Uh, we will go ahead and open up OBS, where we're gonna add this feed onto the OBS screen. Now I already have it all set up. I have all these sources and scenes as you can see. Uh, what you would do is you would click on the plus sign here under sources and add a window capture. Now window capture is what it sounds like. It's gonna be specific to a particular window or app that you are running. It's gonna capture that window. So you would name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name this a7 III test, hit okay. So now it's boom, it has a screen for the remote uh, the remote app. Just gonna make sure all the settings are good. Multi, okay, hit okay. So now you have a screen within the screen here. But you see you have some extra, you know, stuff you might not want on your stream. You're gonna hold the alt key down and you're gonna crop in the portions of the screen that you do not want to show. So let's say that's what I want. And you drag that to the corner. You can resize this, oops. Back. You can resize this. I would, uh, I would squeeze this down, and then you'll have your gameplay or whatever your presentation is, you know, right on screen. It's also important to note that you don't get any audio through the camera, so all audio going into this has to be from an external source. You know, in my case, I have a mic right here that I can stand here, I can talk to the camera, and it's going to get my, you know, mic or you can have you know, a different styled mic on your desk, but just keep that in mind. This is for visual only of your face. Uh, but as long as, you know, if you're recording everything at the same time, everything's live, it's all gonna be synced up without a problem. Thank you so much for watching. If this video brought you any type of value, please be sure to give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future posts. And if you have any questions or there's a video that you would like me to make, drop a comment below. See you next time.